traffic jam. We'll get a whistle with 19.26 to go in the opening period. Hartford comes into this game. Coming off their first overtime loss at home. 9-4, 1-1 at the XL Center on the season. They're 1-2, oh, no, against the North Division. 0-2. Oh, against Rochester. Their one victory against the North came last Saturday night, 2-1 in Utica. This is chipped into the offensive zone by Tanner Fritz. This has been the Wolfpack, Wolfpack's most effective line. It is Fritz centering Aaron Luchuk and Lori Bayuniemi. Austin Rusha haven't seen a lot of time on that line. Goals it back to that game. Bayuniemi up there this evening. Oh, Chris Knobloch returns behind the bench. I, I was muted this entire time. Oh, no, he's Luchuk, what I was saying. So basically, we're here chilling and watching. There's no Habs game today, so we just be chilling and watching some Laval Rockets. This might actually be a little bit. <laughs> this team might actually be better than uh, Montreal. This is, for those who've never watched a type of game like this. Back up top for Anthony Potato. His shot deflected right on. Let's hit out in front of the blue plate. Another chance. Score! Get uh, through! Of course. Austin Rusoff! Rest in peace. Now they're choking because they know I'm watching it. I swear to God. Nobody hotter than number 21 in white right now. Goals in three straight for Austin Rusoff. Hartford off and running just 96 seconds in to the hockey game. Pounces on a rebound. Alrighty. Time to just be chilling season. here. He's got each of the last three goals for Hartford. And the pack strike first for the third time in four games. There isn't really that many graphics I could find for this game since I guess the AHL isn't as commonly watched. Hartford. Just their 12th time scoring first this, this season. This is the only graphic I could really come up with. In the previous 11, they get on the board first here early. Both Zach Tatari and Cristiano DiCinto mentioned that as a shot from the blue line is gubbled up by Just Kincaid. Reminder, all patrons are required to wear a mask regardless of vaccination status, except when actively eating or drinking. For up-to-date information regarding COVID policies, please visit xlcenter.com. Rushoff getting the goal is third of the season, or third in a row, rather. Sixth of the season. Well, both Zach Chitauri yeah, and Chris Jano Di Cinto have graphic been there. mentioning to us in recent interviews that the start to games for the Wolfpack were a bit of, a bit of emphasis on that. They felt like they had started their best. Scored by number 21, Austin Rushoff. The assist to number 19, Justin Richards. And number two, Anthony Potato. Time of the goal, one minute, 36 seconds. Look out, turned over, Rushoff, Di Jacinto tried the wraparound. And, Bateto, and Pauline makes the save. Di Jacinto down low, we're letting the in-house goal call is giving the assist. Richard to Potato and Cristiano Di Jacinto nearly stolen stopped. Here's Zach Jones back in Hartford. Big blast by Lugfist goes wide. Di Jacinto takes him up around Time the far this wall. Game. This is eventually chipped out by Bork. O'Leary will chase after it. Let's Justin make a Richards pull. Picking up his Who will score the next goal? Point. Anthony Potato is second assist in sixth point of the year. Liam Pecoraro at the blue line will dump it in. Pulin will come out and settle it. Uh, Laval. No up the wall. Rockets. Richard Robertson, rather, able to keep it in. Pecoraro or chasing there. It'll be Bisson. The Hartford. Into the skates Whoa. of one, now two Laval attackers. Eventually fired in by Ruben Ginato. Peter Ruben Ginato, the Laval native. Hartford offside. Since it's already 3 to 1 for the Wolfpack, 16.42 to go in period number oh one. Boy. Back lead 1 0 on the Austin Rushoff goal. You joined us late. Mute this now. <laughs> Just so I don't get the that copyright. Two in a row. Fell in overtime here to Charlotte. 2 to 1 on Wednesday. One here, or rather, 
Their last win here, all the way back to December 19th. Their two wins since then have both been on the road. In Bridgeport on the 29th of December and in Utica this past Saturday. This is going to go all the way down the ice. It'll be icing as Jeff Taylor will touch up. Wolf back again without three defensemen tonight. Hunter oh boy, no, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Reunited. <sighs> Bro, connect. I swear my wire sometimes isn't the best. Dorenko couldn't collect the puck. Corey Dello. Flipped up and out of play, but there'll be no penalty as it was quite clearly redirected off a stick. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the music on because otherwise it just sounds very empty. They don't have any like crowd noise. Face off will be no, what's getting left of the Rocky Cole. It's going back to Anthony Pendetto. He'll slap it up to a lot of the reach of Richards. Kodorenko chases behind. He'll come up with it. Kodorenko back down low for Richards. Trying to evade a defender. He does. Richards looking for a wraparound the tip, but he bobbled the puck and lost possession. This is chipped out. Taylor pokes it up to Rushoff. Over to Richards near side. Justin Richards gains his own. Drop pass. Kodorenko waiting. Now his shot deflected Perfect. by Richards. But now he's <laughs> goal. Ball able to move up ahead across center. Shot from an angle into the goal. Totally ball. legit crowd noises. And he will hang on for a whistle. That was Kevin Wild with the shot attempt, former star forward at Northeastern University with the Huskies. <laughs> wonder if there's actually like, um, uh, I wonder if they have actual advertisements here. Draft choice of the Anaheim Ducks. Or if they just keep it there. With the ball back on the 17th of, se of September, played last year with Tucson. JS Day will send it down low. He had the game winner last night in that come from behind victory in Springfield. Shot from the point was knocked down, turned over. Baddock turns and fires one high over the goal. Centering attempt off the side of the net came to Lori Payuniemi. Now Aaron Luchuk is away the other way. Luchuk will flip it into the Laval zone. And then Baddock, the Vermilion Alberta native out there. We're number 34 in red. Comes up to the blue line. Day run into by Lundqvist. Couldn't get out of the there zone. There you go. You're not just a little the zoomed in, locked Zach in Jones. on me. A couple of young, expert puck movers. Paired up tonight. Jones tried to center it for Paiuniemi. It was forced back into the corner. Day and Paiuniemi come together. Eventually, Paiuniemi gets around two defenders. Tried to thread a pass through to Jones. Couldn't get there. Puck got stuck in the side of the goal. And Pauline eventually has to cover up. And now a bit of a bracket. When, when the intermission, when the to go in the opening break. When there's, I guess they're Interbritzy doing stuff, or their intermission or break, whatever. Well, they're they were very engaged physically last night in Providence. It was early and often. When their intermission the happens, I'll uh, do after every a game preview of the game. The only time there really punches exchange was. Late in the second period, Cristiano Di Decinto and Victor Berglund, but it was only Di Decinto that went for roughing. He was the only one that really fired any rights in that sequence and center ice back to the dunk. Face off to the right of the Laval goal. It'll be Hayhurst to take it. Signed a PTO back on Wednesday with Hartford. Bill PTO. We'll peel back. Okay, come on. Donato around the wall. Comes to Pisson. Laid up to the blue line, couldn't get it out. Pecoraro. Elmer gives on Robertson. D to D, Jatari. His shot sticked Ooh. away by Kevin Pauline into the corner. The heck? Somebody just tossed something in the crowd. Robertson digs it free in front of his own bench and feeds Jake Elmer. Looking for his first point of the season. Forced back just inside the offensive zone. That was Cameron Hillis who was there. Number 16 in red, all the way in. Both sides make changes as Kincaid will settle it and give it to Zach Jatari. Jatari played in his home state last night. The Rhode Island native, Michael Leary, weaves his way into the offensive zone, pulls up in the far corner. O'Leary couldn't get a pass off, leaves it behind for Wayland. 
First one on it, Alex Whalen turning. Swings it down. This game the stadium noise Cicinto. here. It makes the game just Cicinto. sound very Cicinto. like every single player here Leary. is like expected to do something amazing. <laughs> Taylor shot deflected another save. Ooh. That time it was Whalen who got a piece of it. Whalen eventually bumped off the puck. Samarosa, the Kirkland native, will fire it in deep. He broke that sequence up. We see Boden in the corner, run into by Taylor. Boden trying to center it for Ducharme. Come on! Shot blocked by O'Leary. It was Charles David Boden, Baudouin, excuse me, who let that shot go. And now we get a whistle, I believe. Played with a hand pass with 12.52 to go. Shot 6-2 to two for Hartford. Who leads it one and nothing on Austin Rushoff's third goal in his many games? I'm assuming this is the break. The season. And Marvin's gonna play it for us here. Hopefully, she can get three of these out without. Alrighty, so the first goal and now three of four. So far, it's one zero. Game preview though. Last night in that game at Providence, as we were telling you about earlier in the broadcast. Now these two teams are in a very similar position. Refresh this page. Last night, Laval was up in Springfield. Both teams trailed by a score of so they don't really have any like stats to be sure, but anyways, quick goals fell five to um, uh, Laval didn't give up in that game by any stretch of the imagination. They eventually tied it at three to three and won in overtime four kay. to three. JS Day needed just 48 seconds to give Laval the victory. Under pressure. Scored in that third period to help force overtime for Laval, who does come into this game with a 14 10 2 0 record following that dramatic. Victory. Oh boy, uh, they played last night just their second game since the middle of December, and they're 2 0 0 and 0 since returning. They oh, there you go. On they I found some good graphics. Let me do this here. Yeah, Bulls team has been I found the equal of it. Given a difficult hand, and they've dealt with it nicely. Wool is assisted by Kelly Buckberger and Martins the pair air. Kelly Buckberger and Wolfpack assistant Steve Smith, very familiar with each other from their times as both players and assistant coaches with the Edmonton Oilers. There we go. Face off will be in the neutral zone. Lean is still at the Laval bench and now he'll make his way back to the goal. We're just joining a shot six to two in favor of Hartford. Austin Rushoff, the only goal. 12.52 to go here in the opening period of action from the XL Center in Hartford. This is turned over. Kodorenko will take it the other way. Feeds a pass for Richards. Out toward goal. Pass was intended for Rushoff too far ahead of him and ended up hitting Polina instead and was sent into the corner. Zach Jones will chase after it. Icing waved off. Comes all the way behind the Hartford goal. So that's how it works. That's the other graphic. Flexes down graphic, yeah. into the Laval end. This will be icing as it is touched up. Boom, boom, can't touch this dude. Uh, can't touch this dude. Uh, uh, oh my god. There you go. Well, uh, we got we got our graphics finally. Olivier Gallopo. Voila. Perfecto. Send it down low. number 44 in red. Jones up the wall. Rouge off. Taps it. Carried up. By Niels Lundqvist. He redirects that shot toward goal. Pouline makes a save. Richards. So there isn't really a game preview I can do here. But I'll look at what they're standing in. Stuff Come all the way really quick in. after. First one on it for the ball. It'll be Bisson in front of his own goal. Plays it up for Belpedio, his D partner. Belpedio will peel back. Curls and finds a little real estate. Takes it up to center. Now finds Bisson. Yo, what's up? Gain the zone. Yeah, I'm walking up to the Chitauri. screen. Bisson able to maintain possession. Lost it for a second. And that eventually we here just Ritz. be chilling, Ritz. watching Ritz. some pass, nearly turned over. hockey. Up the near wall. Belpedio. He'll fire it all the way in. Free hockey. Game will settle. Jatari takes it, pressured by Day, finds Robertson. Dangerous pass, Day turning and firing one. That was knocked away by Kincaid. So that's Dangerous pretty epic. pass. In their own zone of the Wolfpack, and J.S. Day, who was lethal, had a good look. 
And what the dog do? Blue truck will chase after it now. Under the rocket zone. The rest seems to be fine. Are you Niami pushed down? Ritz. Ties up his man. Loose puck out to center. Potato. He to deep for Jeff Taylor. Snaps the pass up ahead for Luchuk. It was knocked down. Luchuk. Up the man at center. Oh, Ripperoni. Somebody else. If it's the one I think it is, someone All else did Taylor. get it for you. So. Product. Spun off the puck behind. You the should, goal, able to recover nicely played should up be good. Wall, but it's kept in. Dello's shot. That whistled wide. Blocker side of Kincaid. Elmer. He takes a big hit along the far wall, but is able to maintain possession. Brings it up near side. It is Taylor. Up to out of the reach of Pecoraro. Back in front of the Wolfpack bench. This is sent in by Hillis. Already. It will settle as Laval makes, ch makes changes. Of course, as I watch this stuff. Freaking, um, uh, uh, it's the one time they're losing right now. Hopefully they come back. Games. Basically, this team is like Vegas where they may lose, but then they're able to come back. The previous two, they are one Which is funny one enough the because like the, here on the NHL... This is Montreal's freaking AHL team here that we're watching. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's so hilarious, like, the Wayman difference. The of all Rockets, from what I last saw, is like, one of the best teams in the league. And then the Habs in the NHL is like the worst freaking um, uh, but the officials blow it dead with 9.33 to go. It's like the worst fucking team of the league. fortunate whistle for Kava Poulin, who never and was able to collect that block like, to give I up mean, the challenge. Team of the league. Carter Sandlack and Jim Curtin, your officials tonight. Colin Gates, Glenn Cook, patrolling the lines. As in-house, they show that <coughs> Leary to Wayland extra pass, and it was in the skates of Wayland. A good look for Hartford, but still just a one nothing game with now under nine and a half to go in the opening period. This is deflected all the way into the Wolfpack zone. Kincaid will settle. Brings it up the wall for Rushoff. Belpedio applying pressure. Rushoff able to get it out to center, out of the reach of Konarenko. Bisson is there. Zignac. Played for the Binghamton Devils and the Jacksonville Iceman a season ago. Back to Bisson. Oh, never mind. So I may have uh, overestimated that, but they're still doing way better. Flips that into the, or tried to flip it into the near corner. And their NHL counterpart. And it pops into the seats for a souvenir. They're in 13th place in the league right now. Zeniak's the third round draft and choice, 16th overall by the Devils in 2016. There's 31 teams, so Laval they're like. July, ahead of the half. They're currently standing at 30, 26 games, play 46 wins. Or, never mind. Games remaining is 46. So never mind. 14 games win, 10 games lost, 2 overtime loss. But surprisingly, they're, man, they're being able to manage all of this while their NHL counterpart freaking needs all their players. Dello will go D to D. Amorosa's shot deflected. That goes wide. Luchuk able to chip it out to center. A good shift here for But last, year, last year they won the. Since they weren't able to do playoffs, they, they won the trophy for their division. The Ramuski native did not play last season, but he's got a long resume, a fifth round pick by the Predators in 2009. Played 413 NHL games. With Nashville, Colorado, and it would have been nice to see playoffs for that because they, we would have both had, like, basically. Galipo. Deflected in. Basically, we could have both. If the Habs would have won the cup, they basically would have won the prize for both of their leagues. All the way back both in, the in, HL and the NHL. And that's a big oof. Back to the blue line, former Wolfpack forward. Or anything the center, cool. Pops to Jake Elmer. Elmer trying to cut toward goal. Tried the toe drag, but he was stood up by Potwen. Nice play by number 47 in red. Fired all the way back into the Wolfpack zone. The ball will make changes. 
Can I get a Hanya? Hanya. Di Desento. Finds O'Leary. Return feed for Di Desento off the mark. Mm -hmm. Able to collect it along the far wall. Back down low for Waylon. He's bumped by Bisong. Di oh Desento. Boy. He stood Oof. up hard. Di Desento flattened by J.C. Bodin. The best player in Laval. And then another big hit. Uh, out of the near corner, and it was Zach Jones who didn't like that one bit. That was Belpedio who wallpapered him in the well, offensive zone. Wolfpack will collect it. Lungfist. The best player in Laval right now is needed. in Montreal. Physically. So forced out to center. Dello. Right in my opinion, is already in. Green, um, uh, Chips it off the far so. wall. Jones. Ruchon, Not too sure. Six eighteen to go in the opening period. See. Zinac was offside. See this if the if this was like back in that time where they put Cole Caulfield in the uh, in the uh, AHL, I could have just cheesed this answer easily. I could have just said Cole Caulfield, but since Cole Caulfield's not in in the ball right now because he needed him up in Montreal, I, I can't say that. Only game with the Rangers that he played this season. And also, this could have. <laughs> back in December. And if also, and another way I could have cheesed this is because. Um, uh, do so, and this will be whistled dead with 6.04 to go. Montreal is going to need to like put Carey Price in the Laval. So, I could have also seen that, but like currently. What does the X mean? Does that mean they're. Oh, it's because they're inactive, so. Okay, well, in my case, I'll just say Kevin Roy. Usually it's Raphael Harry Fernard, but he's in Montreal right now. But, I mean, he also just has COVID, so. And we will have a timeout. At 5.53 to go, timeout on the ice. Wolfpack leading Laval one to nothing. So this is further Monster me. Jam is action packed motorsport with world class oh athletes. Oh boy, they be, they be advertising shit here. They're taking a break, that's why I had to mute stuff. And as you can tell here, this is where the stadium crowd sounds are from. But yeah, we just be chilling now. Trying to find out an hour long. There you go. There you go, I found an actual hockey one, just not not a... Uh... Whoa, what is the cameraman doing? Dello will ring this around the wall. Can't get it Girl, out. Right. Died his man out near side. Fritz. I'm just building this freaking. Out of his hands, no call. This noise gate. Shot from an angle over the blocker. My the filmmaker game. skills are coming in. Work slashing the stick out of the hands of Fritz. This is back up top. Emerson shot. Oh yeah, that's not it. <laughs> Played it back to a vacant point. Took him all the way into the ball zone with 5-10 to go. Amorosa. There's Amorosa. Clarkson University product wearing number 21 in red. Peels back behind his own goal. Wait for something to materialize. The clock reads five minutes to go in period one. Shots 9-3 Hartford who leads it 1-0 on Austin Ruschoff's goal. He is sixth of the year and third consecutive goal for the Wolfpack. Now it's Thomas, happy to have you alongside just about 8 o'clock. <laughs> I'm making Harvard. this sound just as little just as I can. Frigid Saturday night. Taylor. Up behind. Dave would be proud of me right now. Fuck by Drew Shop. Was able to wag hit the zone. Fling it in deep. 
Oh! Holy shit! And I'm not sure what Charles David Baudouin was mad about. As he gave Justin Richards a little push into Kevin Pauline. And Richards with a little bit of a push back here. Sides quickly are broken up. What do you mean? No, I'm literally building a soundscape to this. I'm sound designing the shit out of this. For Justin Richards, and it did so perfectly. But Richards was. Cause you want to hear what it is? Just what the freaking thing itself. That's how it sounds. Only just mute everything. In Rhode Island and well, I'll wait until that song is over. over into this hockey game. 4 to go in the opening period. We'll back lead one nothing. I'm just Shot doing my thing back. here. Face off taken out to center. It'll be Hillis and just so I don't get copyright. So basically, freaking this is how it sounds Bell without video. anything. Gets it for B song. Pass up ahead. Intercepted by DJ Sinto. Swipes it back it sounds just Don't so empty. Jason up ahead. You know, having like audio things in the crowd. Belpedio. But anyways, I'm gonna put that back on. So what just happened? Literally, what happened last last game with the Habs? The ball will return home for their next game on and now I'm uh. And that is, is basically the, the man w a freaking ran into his goalie. Next Friday night, 7 p.m., and then it'll be a home and home that concludes Saturday in Belleville. Do you not do you not see what I'm doing? Do you not hear the stadium noises and the ice skating noises? ECHL All Star with Greenville, one of two All Stars on this Wolfpack roster. Pecoraro with Greenville. Do you not hear the crowd? That's a fake crowd. Jones, <laughs> Back up top for Jones. Zach Jones takes it for a lap. No, Jones. I'm saying the stream is, is like. Lundfist, who <laughs> just missed that pocket. It was chipped out. So Pecoraro will retreat and collect. He left it behind. Look out. Turned over and it's a breakaway. Save made by Kincaid. Damn. Alexander Fortin was gift wrapped a breakaway as Pecoraro left the puck behind and then blew a tire. Fortin try the tuck it blocker side on That's King literally Kincaid. all the skating and shit. Down, did the splits. Yeah, and I don't want to put it very loud just so. Home, just, <laughs> just so it's over blaring everything though. So that's why I'm putting that on top. Well, how's that to announce that Keith Kincaid is back? His first start since December 22nd. And it's a big save with 332 to go. The pack up by a goal as Luchuk will chip it up. Lori Payuniemi gains the zone, tried to get through two defenders, lost the handle on it. Amorosa ran into him. Amorosa off the far wall, but it's kept in by Chitari. Snap pass D to D for Robertson. Turns and fires one that was deflected right off. Lee makes the save. Duchard bumped by Luchuk, kept in Chitari far side. Half behind Luchuk. Amorosa, first one there. He's tied up by Luchuk. Around the near wall, kept in by Robertson, it sounds like Robertson. with this crowd noise, it sounds like something epic is happening like every moment. Good period here for Hartford out shooting the ball 11 to 4, leading 1 to nothing. Dr. Chris Jan, who teased the Sinto ahead of yesterday's game in Providence, one of the things he mentioned was. Maybe a bit of a revenge factor for that game last night of being flanked on Teddy Bear Toste New Year's Eve by the Bruins. Fell 5-1 in that game, but physically they were in that game and engaged all night long. Some of those bad bounces went against them. You could argue a couple of bad bounces went against them. He fell on Wednesday in that loss. Off the faceoff, it is Potato. Yeah, they, they got, they got a, it's like, oh my god, AHL players, oh my god. Yep, did Taylor near side, so Hartford are going to get the first power play of the game. They only had one last night, and last You say that, though, but you go to 
on the skater advantage. A hockey game in our town, in our town, and there, people are either are like this or they're just like, pissed off. Funny enough. Darren. Hartford has a power play. Belpedio for holding Hartford trying to break this power outage on the power play. Zach Jones, when this Hartford power play was top 10 in the league, Jones is a big reason why. He's out there now. It is he and Niels Lundqvist, the two defensemen. Luchuk, Hayuniemi, and up front. Rulin will ring this around the wall, but it's not Rest down by peace. Hayuniemi. Kept in by Jones. So I see people were pissed off. Oh, never mind. Oh, Marley's, Marley's one. Oh, okay, I see. I thought you were saying Marley's got outscored. Yeah, it could just be our town's different then. But lots of games I've been to, if it's a close one, it can be loud. Off into the right of Keith Kincaid, 59 seconds off the power play. Clark clock now to 90 seconds and counting in the opening period. We'll pack lead one nothing. Wait a second. Damn. Okay, so the opposite goalie on the penalty kill in Springfield is actually um uh left on the power play. Is actually is actually the um Montreal's old goalie. Slash Laval's old goalie. Oh yeah, so I'm plotting on like also um uh, also reacting to like the Olymp like the hockey the hockey the ice hockey in the Olympics. So get ready just for just ho ice hockey streams, er like ice hockey reaction streams every day for Canada. So it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be uh, for sure um. Uh, A week full of hockey on this Twitch stream. And also, it's gonna be some either very late streams or some very early streams. Meaning, like, literally, I've done the math for, like, the time. For, like, them, uh. For the time zones. And, um, uh, let me just say. Let me just say, most of the ga games are either at are either at 8 a.m. or 11 11:10 p.m. So you're gonna hear me streaming that early or late. With a lead. And that's been relatively good news for Hartford there. 5 1 0 and Already. Time for some puck IO. Get that puck IO game ready. Time for Tell Jay to reach. Anyways. 
arcade trolley games. No, I just want, I need them to be either related to stuff I watch. And I believe those games might be uh, more expensive as well. <laughs> or not expensive, but I'll need to do some trickeries. Get it. So, so far for this period, Hardford has scored. So it's 1 0. Shots on goal were 13 to 5. Hartford has 13, Laval 5. Penalty, there's only one penalty for Laval. And. And the goal was from Austin Rushoff, I believe. Assisted by Rushoff. Piedo. Penalty was Louis Belpino holding. Yeah, yeah. Yee -yee. Oh yeah, I have to fix this. And also just doing the Olympic game for for views. <laughs> Well, for sure, give me more views than usual. Is what I'm expecting. Alrighty, let's see what fools I'm gonna freak up today with um, this game. Oh boy, this is like, oh, of course, all full of bots. I didn't even react in time. I can already tell this is full of bots considering they freaking scored right off the shot. Leroy, Martha, Justin. Get the frig out of my way, Justin. And then no name right here. Freaking no name brand. Hey, let's go, Leroy. Come on, Leroy. Set, set her up. Boom! Bada bing! Let's go. Bruh, no, 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 <laughs> that could have been bad. Yes, 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 keep my mouse in here. Let's go. I somehow scored that, okay. Oh, I almost scored that as well. Hey, <laughs> Victor, thank you. <laughs> that was technically Vic, uh, Victor's goal, not Leroy's. But, I mean, if you want to count a goal there, that should have been mine. Because I'm the one that pushed him in. And I'm not even touching the puck, and it's like reacting to it. What is this madness? Why are they all after Victor? I pushed him out. Oh, 
Justin, get that frig out of here. You're about to score it on our own net. Frig off, buddy. Stop double teaming. Cross teaming or whatever. Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, boom, boom. Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, 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 boom. Boom! Meech, get out the way! Get out the way, Meech, get out the way! Oh yeah, stream is now mature, audience only. So, no kids allowed. <laughs> hey, frig off, Le Leroy! Leroy! This ain't no Leroy Jenkins moment. Where you gotta do one for all. Boom! How did Justin assist me there? Logic. Max and Ruby. Ruby and Max. Max and Ruby. Ruby and her sister Max. Leroy, don't you dare screw this shot up. No, what are you doing, Marfa? Thank you. I don't know how that was my goal, but okay. Is this that Marley's game you're talking about? I mean, kind of the opposite concern they scored right away because I was AFK, but... You can tell these are all freaking bots. <laughs> no one actually plays this game. Ooh, I just shot towards them. <laughs> I shouldn't have. Justin! Don't you dare! What are you doing? Justin! No! Stop! See, this game is so dumb that you're, even your freaking allies can sometimes be against you. I mean, I actually did have once a game where I had actual players play with me, but because I was so confused, I mean, they're, they might have been CPUs, but their chat was kind of like too realistic and they probably just suck in that case Like I'm just describing yes, there is it just it matches you at random stuff And then I guess if it doesn't find a match with people and it's just like okay CPU time It's like rewind time Literally just auto match. Oh boy, how did I freak that up? Boom! In! Leroy somehow says it, okay. Justin, freak off. Justin! Nice. Bruh. Justin V always screwing me up. Oh no. Good. Justin's now on the opposite team, the traitor himself. Justin! Never mind, there's two Justins now. Oh no, never mind. That's he's just on another team. He did a good job, bruh. Justin, stop picking on me. W E, freak off. Victor. Justin, how are you now? It's just so good. Boom! 
Victor! Bruh! Now it's Victor that's screwing me over. Leroy! Why? Just why? Oh my lord. It's 1v5, I swear to god. Marfa may actually be a real person. Concerned in doing a somewhat of a strat here. Bro. WWE just put in their own net. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, this game is literally my rage simulator because all the freaking my all my bot teammates are at, are against me. This is a game I let out all my rage on. All my teammates are toxic. Go Leroy, bruh. Boom, beach. Oh, I'm trying to hit it so basically it doesn't go as well as fun. Alrighty, we got this. Ah, uh, WWE has nothing on this. Boom! Easy. Oh yes, sir. I swear to god, buddy, if you screw up my shot here. <laughs> Thank you. Victor and Leroy get the freeway. Boom! In! Get Rex on. We got the strats. Thank you. And then you bump into it. You assist. Voila! Goal. Easy. Boom! <laughs> Okay, okay. No, no, no. Nope. Yep, do it. Let's go. Help me out. Boom! Thank you for the assist, WWE. Being better than my freaking teammates. Boom, B, get out of the way. Okay, he could have had it there, but he decided not to, so. Thank you for letting me use your body. You son of a gun. Victor, why are you always screw us over here like this? Holy shit. Victor, stop sending it our way. If you really want to be on the red team, you can be on it next time. Alrighty, clear goal. Nope, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Easy dumps. <laughs> I almost got it there. Bud! Marfa! Forgot off!
Marfa, you almost screwed us over like 20 fucking times. Boom! In! Well, oh shit! Alrighty, I have the shots here. See, I all knew all along. Victor was a betrayal. Guys, you not have a freaking aim. <sighs> Boom! Get out of the way, bitch. Leroy, freak off. Stay on the other team. Oh, if you would have watched the last time, you would have been laughing your ass off. I was screaming at this player called David. It sounded like real life. Oh shit, that was on it. Oh my god, another glitchiness. <laughs> Bring off W don't E. Leroy, I swear to god, do not hit that puck. Shot my own net there. Good job, Larry. Whoo! I almost kicked off my freaking back. <sighs> Let's go. Boing. Marfa, get the fuck out. Bruh, Leroy and Marfa, where the fuck were you guys? Back in the center. Guys, stop following the fucking puck. Let me help assist. Help Marfa, what the fuck? Oh my lord. Are you kidding me? Like, guys, why can't you be like WWE here? Actually, like, saving the puck. Thank you. Oh no. Marfa, fuck off. Literally a 1v6 right now. Come on, Marfa. Bro, why? Go! There you go. About time. Boom! Alright, just finishing this off. And the game has restarted, so. Leroy, I swear to God. 
Alright, done done. Oh damn, I could have heard this stuff here. Jeff Taylor, it's speed. Check that Neil Lundqvist with speed. I apologize. Carries it into the offensive zone. He'll flip it in behind the goal. It is Jacob Hayhurst who's there. Back up for Jones. He did Lundqvist near side. Lundqvist finds Jake Elmer. Ripped up and a penalty coming here. Pecoraro is eventually touched up. Uh, Gallipo and a penalty coming against the ball. With 16.40 to go. Hartford keeping the momentum going. Couple of good chances here in the early portion of this second period, and Cameron Hillis will take the long skate to the penalty box. This will be a trip and go. Hartford one for their last 32, including the attempt back in the first period. Holy, let me, Holy hey, let me like, Fritz and up I'm Hunter trying Hartford. so hard. And then Zimiak will take the face off. Out there with Gabriel Good Park. enough. Off one by the pack, it's Jones. Zach Jones, shot is blocked. It may have hit his own man, Pai Emmy. It comes all the way out to center. He goes one fist. Defensively, it is Amorosa and Dello for Laval. One fist will drop it back for Jones. Kind of Voila, off perfecto. For Aaron Luchuk. Luchuk back at it. Off the wall for Jones, far side. One third down on the power play. One fist struck iron in the first power play in period one. Luchuk. Near face-off circle, down low for Fritz. Displays patience, Fritz. Jones, far side, couldn't handle a pass. Comes out to center, Lundqvist will collect it. 16 even to go in the second period, Luchuk. Zemiak got a piece of that pass, and then Luchuk was hit. He's in some discomfort. Thought about playing the puck, he could. He is curled over in pain. He's got to get back to the bench. Uh -oh. He does. Paiuniemi, meanwhile, will gain the zone. Fritz for get a shot away. Fritz in the near corner, plays it back up top for Jones. Just under a minute to go on the power play. Jones off the wall for going to Kayuniemi. Kayuniemi. Oh, I fired Kayuniemi. I'm like, what the fuck did he put Kayuniemi back in the HL for? Waiting, waiting. Jones now gives it for Potato. Back up for Jones. 44 seconds in the power play. Jones shot deflected right on by Fritz and a save made by Kim Ampulin. Potato off the wall, kept in by Jones. Good pressure by Hartford. Pioneer pass across. Potato shoots it and he pushed it wide. Comes out to Jones at center. 25 seconds left on the power play. Just over 15 to go. In the Come field. on. Then will collect it and flip it all the way down the ice. Matthew Roberts in behind the Hartford goal will collect and speed things up ahead. Roberts in. Up for Kodorenko. Look at a feed of pass for Potato. Pass it back. back no. But kept in by Robertson who gets the puck deep. Out of the reach of Bisson. Alive by Rushaw. Two seconds of the power play. Cutter <gasps> looking for Richard. Pass out of the reach. Robertson. Penalty is over. Hartford over two, but not for a lack of chances. No. Nope. Cutter go a backhander through the blue paint that went wide. Hillis fresh out of the box. He plays it in behind the goal for Louis Belpedio. Carried up ahead by. Martin go, 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 go. Oh! Had a stick lifted. Now another chance out in front. Puck is loose in the blue paint. They dig away. Oh my freaking. Oh yeah, so, if y'all want to watch this game together also, it's a free game, so you can watch it together, we can all watch it together. Just go on the HL website and you gotta just make an account, and voila. Right down main was Hillis, and then he tried to bank that off the street of EJS Day, who's in the neighborhood as well. So close. Let me just put the link in of the police. I'll just need an account. 
Voila. Let's watch together. And this is literally tonight, all the AHL games are free. So literally the reason why I'm reacting to this right now is because this game's free, so. So close, so close. And negate icing with 13.25 to go here in the period. Day, trying to lose puck from a collision, trying to send it up for Frank that. Passes off the mark. Nissan. HL hockey Maddox. is so slow. Accepted by Lundqvist. But it's not your team. For Elmer. Jake Elmer with speed. Elmer trying to get around Bisson. Elmer backhander off the outside of the goal and then ridden hard by Belpedio. Puck in the skates of Bisson. Tipped up the near wall, kept in by Hayhurst. Steps a shot right on. And a save by Kevon Pouli. 12.59 to go in the second period. Shots 15-6 for Hartford. Hanging on to a one nothing lead. Both teams have had some chances here in the second period. But neither side able to find the back of the net. Hockey Happy Hour, powered by Miniman Press, is back at the XL Center. Join us in the Jill Zone of the Coliseum Club. For every Yukon hockey and Wolfpack hockey game on Friday and Saturday nights. $2 beers in the All right. Damn, the freaking players are just chatting it up on both teams. Well, yes, it makes sense. They probably played together with the goalie because the goalie's actually used to be a, a Laval Rocket. Slash Munchok Nane, he's played a couple of Habs games. Yep, well, Ford, huh? Hartford Wolfpack, King of Kate, Keith Kincaid. He's the one in net right now. Cool. He literally had, had only lost one game. What a. My god. Uh -huh. We didn't get a chance to play Canadian team last year. This is a pretty cool experience for a lot of those guys. Yeah, he's literally only lost one single game as a Hartford Whaler. Uh, not Whaler. Uh, Wolfpack. Underrated NHL team. I don't know. <laughs> this is literally my answer, I don't know. Coming back in the first period. Wolfpack have only scored one goal each of the last two games, both by Rushoff on Wednesday and last night. He's got the first one here tonight. Can they get a little more run support to keep Kincaid at his first start for Wolfpack? They're all in the position they should be in, even the Habs. Hartford playing a good game here tonight, nearly halfway through the contest. This is turned over. Rosa, it's it for Tori Dello. Roth, up to the blue line. Wayland, it around Amorosa. Alrighty, Oval. Goal stick saved by Poulin. And then this is going to be a penalty. Tripped up. Let's get, let's get that, um, uh. Oval goal was Brendan Zignac. And it'll be Alex Wayland who will go, so. Hart forgot the first two power plays. Now the ball going to go to the skater advantage with 12-10 to go here in the second period. The ball is Let's get another goal here. Well, not another, an actual goal.
80.95% second. Or 22nd, we should say, in the AHL. They were seven for eight on the penalty kill last night in Providence. Yes, for Froden and the only goal on a one-timer. Here's a one-time bid that's blocked by Kodorenko. Came off the stick of Louis Belpidio. 20 power play goals allowed by Hartford this season. Their penalty kill was a bright spot in that game last night in Providence. Mentioned killing off seven of eight infractions, and the only one was a no-doubter off the stick of Jesper Froden on a one-timer. Delpino off the face-off. Dish it over. Turn feedback up Duck, Delpino. Okay, come on. Take advantage of this power play. And get I'm tired up. Vazi, 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 go, go, go. Bruh, come on. Come on. Oof. Bruh. Oof, outside their zone. Well, not their zone. Like, outside the offensive zone, center right now. Now back into the zone, come on. Don't let him clear it. Bruh. Oof. Good to see him back out of the ice. Luchuk in on the four check on the penalty kill. Draws the attention of two red jerseys. That'll kill more time. Fritz plays it out to center. Lundqvist for Luchuk. Now to Jones. With 40 seconds left in the power play. And Hartford content to bleed the clock. Jones has passed, missed the mark. But that's all right on the penalty kill. This will come all the way down. Bolin will leave it in behind. For yeah, tomorrow back. for sure. Back to the future Those three. Watch party. Nothing that I know of will interfere with it. It'll basically just be right after I'm done um, uh, my homework. I have a typography homework. So, gotta do that. Hopefully the Simpsons don't take go into full effect. Tomorrow. To be honest, I'm not really feeling as anything. This board. in peace. Everyone. 
Digging down low, Brendan Badock. In there as well, comes to Kodorenko. I'm not tired, I'm just bored. And, and I've lost track of time, basically. <laughs> Eight and a half to go in the second period. Well, this is far from over. Remember last night, Laval trailed by a pair at the second intermission. But at least Laval is able to do a comeback on like this the Habs. This game is very much still in the air. That goal, the insurance marker Hartford's been looking for. Kincaid will play it for Chitari. Are you winning, son? Sadly not, Dad. Sadly not. He's just kind of fired into the far corner. Coach win. Around the wall. Nah, not bored of hockey, bored of being the fucking quarantine. Wayne <laughs> nearly tripped as he came out to play it. Wayland was applying pressure. What's up, uh, your fault? Nice stick coming up here. It's going to be against Alex Wayland as Michael Leary will touch the puck. Wayland got the stick up. It was a four minute double minor against O'Leary last night. In Providence for high sticking, and now his winger Alex Wayland is going to go. High sticking, it's 737 to go. Oh, 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 Take the face off. Opposite of Mike yeah, O'Leary. but if you go on a walk, you maybe meet strangers and they'll be like, Oh, aren't you supposed to be cool? Bam. Controversial this. Put it on a platter. Alfonso Donato let it fly. Looking for his first goal of the season. He played last year with Syracuse for Orlando. Playing in his seventh season, or seventh game rather. First Supposed to be isolated, not going out and about. But it's wallpapered along the near wall by two red jerseys. Zinyak will collect it for the rocket with 135 to go in the period. Delpedio. Yes, sir. You're supposed to stay in your house, not go for walks around. Around town, giving people the you know what. Eastern Star. Zinyak back up for a while. Near wall, the old team with 112 off the power play. Del Pedio returns it. Cameron Wall waits. Can avoid them, but what if you go achoo? Bam. They have it. Ford fresh under the ice now. Del Pedio tried to find him. It's a discarded stick. Cameron Wall will take the pass around the stick and give it right back to Del Pedio. 52 seconds left in the power play. I, well, when you mentioned walk, you always pass. say outside, so. I had to do the assumption. Gives it across. I'll go Donato up top. Del Pedio. What timer? And he whistled it wide. Go out with it. Plays it down low for Bork. About feeding a pass for Day. That's your version of a walk. He's going outside. Around the block. It cleared down the length of the ice. I don't know if J.S. Day got a piece of it. His stick. Was out with the deflection in the slot. It may have went right on to Kincaid who made the save. Can't tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, but if you walk around the house, then you can potentially affect yeah. other people in the house. <laughs> They're totally not already infected. Back up top. It's a return feed. That's Fortin. Down to the corner by and then in your case, you become a hypocrite. Ah. <laughs> 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 Potato is hauled down by Martel. No call coming. This is flipped out by Kodorenko. It gets up to the blue line, but Hartford can't get it out. Or did they? As Martel touches it up. And yes, they did. With 4.58 to go, it was a nice Damn. side call coming off. 
That's quite the walk. That's who you know who wants you to do. Looks like Brandon Zeniak just left the playing surface and went into that far corner door. Louis Philippe in Don is the back of goaltender at the E station. Zeniak has to. Well, update on um, uh, update on some things is that I actually got, I bought a new, um, uh, wire for my, um, uh, my capture card, so it won't be fried anymore. So... We'll be able to do some Smash Bros stuff and Pokemon stuff and all the above stuff soon. And also the Fortnite stream will be back to like actually being in this fashion, not just for the really PS5. Come on, Laval, let's do this. See, the crowd is up for you. It's only the, a real crowd. The crowd isn't totally at 50% capacity right now. Actually, never mind, this is America, so it's different. I mean, you're not up. Tanner Fritz will deflect the puck out to center. It's as far as it'll get, Day. Ayuniemi spun away. Luan by Robertson. Yellow. It's for J.S. Day. Day, long shot. That hit his skate. It was off of Robertson. And eventually. Pinballs into the corner. Luchuk chasing after it. 334 to go in the period. Oh, looking to get on the board here. Yes, Day off the wall. Boom. Delpedio no. makes the shot. And he did take it and knocked the stick of Fritz out of his hand. Stretch pass for Pagliani. Well out of his reach. And we will have a whistle. No, I'm just a commentator. I love the crowd. Get your specifications the correct. Or what specific uh, terms right. We'll back up by a pair. Shot 20 to 14 in favor of the home side. Ball wins this draw. His shot off the face off is gobbled up by Gingade as he gloves that gloves down the bid from Oh yeah, and also epic gamer moment. I don't even need to go out of the room for for like food now. I got that Pizza Hut, so I got that breakfast, lunch, and supper, and there's like brownies that came with it, so even dessert. Now I just need to go out for water, that's all, but I have that in my washroom, so. No need to go <laughs> out of this upstairs floor. <laughs> the icing is Martel. We'll touch it up. Not all commentators. And now 2.59 to go in period two. Stick around to the second intermission. We'll take our 
been around the American Hockey League and the National Hockey League on this busy Saturday night. We will also recap the scoring for the first 40 minutes of action here and take a look ahead for both these two teams and a look some chocolate chip brownies. That's what I'm having. Kobe Bisson chasing after it. Got there first. Puck comes out. We see Baudet. Friend the Baddock. Shoot! His shot that goes high over the gate off the glass. Martel from a sharp angle took him up from Rushoff, but was able to get the shot away. Bisson keeps it in. Baudet. Bisson. The bump from Richards. Penalty up coming here. Holding call. Looks like it's going to be against Hartford. I've FaceTimed so many people tonight. ever since ball um, ball uh, the this shit started. And it'll be Justin Richards. We assigned by the Rangers to the taxi squad yesterday. Played last night in Providence. One of the key penalty killers on this team. And a chance with just 227 left in the period. For the Rockets to get on the board. Faceoff will be, I believe, to the left. Of King King. Mr. Worldwide on FaceTime now. Zach Jones and Nick Lopez will be on the blue line. Really, you. My parents, my brother, one of my cousins, and like three other friends, and then Santa Man. I literally left the, <laughs> as you saw, left the video chat for someone else. Come on, use the advantage of this power play, buddy. Bruh, why did you stop that? It's your one job. Oh yeah, I have a new panel now below, like when you go to watch my streams and stuff. That shows like the top click the clip of the mo like I guess of the week or whatever. Remember when we had to do the 14 day one, it was freaking. That one was oh, quite the adventure. And when I mean adventure, literally just staying in our room. And literally doing fuck all. For 14 days straight. Oh, it's over. Well, second period is. Alrighty. Well, time to go see if I can actually find a, like an actual server here for Puck IO. But first. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, guys, this is how it looks. Let's 
see what's going on here. So, in the second period, the only team to score was once again Hartford. Seven shots on goal for Hartford, Lavelle 11. There's like way more penalties, I believe like five, uh, four of them. One extra for Hartford, uh, what, uh, well, three from, ah, fuck. Three for Hartford, and then one more for Lavelle. Time to skip all this stuff over. Scoring person that scored was Lori Lori Paju Naomi, assisted by Tanner Fritz. Penalties are Cameron Hillis tripping, uh, Alex Wallen tripping, Alex Wallen again high sticking, Justin Richards holding. Yee yee yee. Alrighty. Time for some puck IO and see if I can find an actual match. And not just some AI bullshit that will tear shit on me. Ooh, look at this first. Like a puck throw. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Not pick that I own. Fuck. Let me see if I can just go on the thing and see what happens when I am. Uh, uh, server browser. Player's literally empty as fuck. No one's playing this game. There are some pepperonis. Okay, there's two people here. Oof. They put me on the worst fucking team, but... Luis! Luis, what the fuck? Alright, Lo Lois. Or Lois, actually. Of course, put me on a fucking game that I had me losing. Turn off, Earl. Go. Oh, I believe we just lost our friggin' players. Bruh! Someone who's actually on a fucking let me look. Can I start fighting?
Have any human beings in here? Thank you, Owen. Shoot it in, buddy. What are you doing? God damn Mike almost fucking screwed me over. Another one. Mike! No, what the heck? MD Strader betrayed me. Damn, that's all people in their fucking... You know what? Fuck. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Let's go. Bro! Mike, where are you at? Boom! S set her up. Christine! Free off! Mike, why? Go, Mike. 
keep on setting you up and you fucking fail me. <laughs> do this oh my lord Get put her in <sighs> Mike come on Got it. Christine, I swear to God. You better not screw this up for me. Freaking Christine almost messing it up for us again. Get out of here. Let's go. Woohoo! Let's go, we won it. We won the game for just one goal. Let's go! Ole, 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 ole!
Alex. Oh, he got just pushed into oblivion. Thank you, Haiti Brazil. Holy freaking intense. Boom, bitch, get out of the way. It's always when I'm fucking AFK, I swear to god. It's always, always when I'm AFK. That this shit fucking happens. Fuck's sakes, of course, you relocate a lot. Jacob Hayhurst cutting in. Hayhurst, he shoots and off of Corey Dello and into the corner. Hayhurst back up top. Neil's Lundqvist puts it into the glove of Kevon Pouline. Hangs on with 17.31 to go in regulation time. Well, uh, 
Perfecto. My god, this crowd is like hyped up like crazy. Holy shit. Totally, totally legit crowd too. Come on, uh, come on, we'll all do the comeback. Come on. Saint Simon will dump it in. Off the wall, up for Alex Whalen. Now O'Leary returns it for Whalen. Couldn't get a piece of it. Jatari. Glad they get there, but it was poked away nicely by Bork. All the way down the ice. Come on, Johnny. This will be icing as Matthew Robertson will touch off. 16 and a half to go. And a regulation time in the XL Center. Hartford, Connecticut. Face off to the left of Poulin. Michael Leary and J.S. Day will do the honors. John Sebastian Day, a Val native. Went last season between Buffalo and Rochester. A free agent in Montreal on July 28th. Robertson, they cut that out in front, hit Kevin Waugh, go in behind as Louis Belpedio will take and navigate up for safety. Ryan Waugh, now for Day, backing him. Oh. Now for Day, backing him past. Yeah, it's a little bit of the same audio for each Waugh thing. The far wall, bumped by O'Leary. Kevin Waugh, J.S. Day, John Sebastian Day plays it. I'll try the play back to the blue line. It was intercepted by O'Leary. Out of the reach of D. Jacinto. All the way back into the Hartford zone. Both sides will make changes. Matthew Robertson will touch up. 15.50 to go in regulation tie. Both back up by two. Alex Thomas here happy to have you alongside. As we finish off a three game and four day set. The back are 0-1-1-0 oh, in the first two. Looking to push this win over the finish line. Hillis, offside. 15.32 to go. Shots 22-16. Hartford leads it two to nothing. Pioneer, the goal in the second period. Pioneer, that's a the person's the name. The okay. That's why I have that whole space there. Neutral zone face off. It'll be Hillis and Hayhurst. Hayhurst wins the draw back for Jeff Taylor. Okay, come on, Laval. Let's get it. Set her up. Get the goal. Come on. Araro. Eight games this season. He's yet to score his first point of the year. This is his fifth game of the Wolfpack. And the PTO in the team on January Go, 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 Vazi, 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 Vazi. Go, go. Shoot it up. Rush it. Swipe it out in front was Martel. It hit the blue chuck. Martel spins away from blue chuck in the far corner. Try to finesse a pass out in front and hit Luchak. He comes into the near corner. This is Justin Ducharme. It's away by Taylor. Teto. Shipped off glass. Up ahead. Lordy Pioneer will chase. Oh, no. Drop back no, 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 able to clog up the shooting lane. Fritz back up. Pioneer chases after it. Burrows up. Pioneer shielding the puck. Gets it back for Niels Lundqvist. Drops it for Jones. 
Oh boy. No. He shoots that one. They have hit a leg and went Shoot. wide. Martel flips it out. Not sure if Pulin got a piece of that or if it hit a leg. But Zach Jones danced his way into the slot. Fritz able to outmuscle Dello and collect the real estate in the near corner. Now four bodies to a side dig away at it with 13 and a half to go in the third period. Wolfpack up by a pair. Shot 23-16 from the XL Center in Hartford. If you're just joining us on this Saturday evening, Pioneer. What the heck is going on? Muscle his way through Tori Dello behind the LaBall goal. Dua is able to clear that out of the zone. Jones couldn't keep it in. Won't have enough for icing. Neil Lundqvist first one on it. Ball making changes. Just over 13 minutes to go. Lundqvist will dance up to center. Gain the red line and fling it in deep. He'll change. Matt Robertson will come on. Toby Bisson gets it up the wall. And Bisson ran into the like going a second. And a centering attempt for Fritz was knocked away. Unable to keep it in was Robertson. He had his pocket picked by Day. Gushoff tried to chip it into the zone. Hit the shoulder of Bisson. Vazi, 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 vazi. Rip. Blocked. Atari stretches it for Wayland. Alex Wayland. Go, 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 come on. Uh, what? Galipo. Back uh, up for O'Leary. Mike O'Leary with a chance down no. the field. No. No. Wayland, he shoots and he pushed it wide. Stop. Back up top for Taylor. Potato looking for a slap pass down for O'Leary. It was intercepted. The other way, the rocket come. Potato takes the pocket at the. Blue line thought that could have been icing. Now a oh, chance the other way. No. Alex Whalen with a breakaway. Whalen shoots. Hit the goal post. Now another chance for DJ Sinto. And he struck higher too. Oh, Alex Whalen had a beautiful opportunity. And then DJ Sinto with a follow up. That the was iron fucking two twice. breakaways. This one goes wide. Right. In by Niels Easy sh go go shots, basically. Hillis couldn't collect the loose puck. Hey, Hurst bumped off of it now. Ducharme desperate to relieve the pressure. And finally, the Rocket do. Jones hit by Baddock. And Baddock called down by Jones. And Brandon Baddock's looking for a call. He's not going to get it. He probably had a case there. Looked like Zach Jones yeah, called him the down. Yeah, what the fuck? But the officials will let him play. Wow. Chris will pay it up for Liam Pecoraro. He's bumped along the wall. That was Terrence Amorosa. As a physicality gets ratcheted up a bit. And then Paiu Niemi bumped Martell, but I believe this is going to be too many skaters against Hartford, and the Wolfpack, Lori Payuniemi is protesting, but he's not going to win this argument, and Hartford going to go to the penalty kill for the fourth time in this game. The ball's 0 for 3, but the door is open with 10.55 to go, down by a pair. The Rocket trying to get on the board and a golden opportunity well, uh, here as they go to the advantage. Y'all can see all the spawning now. <laughs> That's not the point of it. <laughs> this is intermission music. <laughs> Let's go. So the Wolfpack will go to the penalty kill for the fourth time in this game, up by a pair with 10.55 to go. So what is the stream summary? Why is it saying? Oh. First like five minutes or three. Okay, whatever. Skaters penalty against the Wolfpack. 
Is the Lamella Rock can have a goal song? Martel shoots. That's knocked down by Kincaid. Bork finds the rebound. Gets it back to Martel. Oh, they do. Okay, well, let me get this ready. Don't play right now, but have it ready just in case. Luchuk's got plenty of time and space. He'll collect it and fire it down the length of the ice. Justin Richards and Patrick Kodorenko hop over the board. Adds to Anthony Bizzano. If we ever get to use that. Zachary Tari, four fresh penalty killers. 40 seconds gone by on the fourth power play of the evening for Laval. Come on, Laval. Let's do this. Bringing her on the boards. Bork tied up by Kodorenko. Jean Sebastian Day in there. Bork plays it Hit up. The dump. Intercepted by Richards. And he'll gain center with possession. That'll kill more time. Richards into the offensive zone. Trying to feed Kodorenko. Pass was out of his reach. Kodorenko gets there first, however, finds Richards. They'll bleed more clock. Richards out to center for Zach Jones. He and Matthew Robertson fresh out there. Jones snaps the pass ahead for Richards. Plastered by Delpedio along the far wall. Kodorenko trying to play it out to center. Brendan Baddock intercepted it. Go, Baddock. go, 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 38 seconds left. Austin Ruschoff, by the way, serving the penalty. The face-off to the right of Kincaid. Made 18 saves in his first game back. Oh, I forgot to put the music Michael on. Leary trying to get there. Since it was a whistle. Leary and Fritz, the penalty killing forwards. Jones and Robertson remain out defensively. It's Jones who has it. He'll fire it down. The length of the ice. 25 seconds left on the power play. Back out to center. Jones takes a healthy bump from J.C. Baudin. This rocket team, very physical. Billy Bisson gains the blue line, drops it back. Back a shot. Oh. Bisson, the flyby. What a line. Toss him out of the crease area with 13 seconds left. On the power play, 908 in the hockey game. It's a big kill for Hartford. This was about the stage of the game Wednesday when Charlotte really started to take over. Face off to the right of Kincaid. Richards and Luchuk. Check that. Wayland, that's Lundqvist and Taylor defensively. Off the drop. Come on. Game Put position. on the pressure. Fuzzy. Dan goes wide. Comes up to the blue line. Was he mes amis? Hartford gets the kill. They're four for four in the penalty kill. Was he Laval? Seven for eight last oh. night. Penalty kill is still alive. Was he Rocket de Laval? Up to center, wait a little chip off glass, and all the way in in the Laval zone. This is Bisson. Out of the reach of Alan Sportsman. And this is going to be whistled for icing. All right. Bruh. <sighs> Okay, yeah, I see how it goes. Face off, come all the way back into the Laval zone. The only visit for the Rocket to Hartford this season. These two teams will do it again in March. And they will be up in Canada. Oof. Jack Jones. What? That puck up ahead for Man just slipped, I guess. In front of the rocket penalty box. It takes another hit, but Payuniemi still able to win that puck battle and fire it in deep. Luchuk. Uh, he may be young, he may be a rookie, but Lori Payuniemi has got some size, he's got some strength, and he's continuing to learn how to use it. Into the slot area. Come on, go, 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 fuzzy, 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 go! <sighs> Freaking Keith Kincaid. Why did we ever let him go? Making points in three of their last four games. Anthony Potato in center. They'll fire it in deep. First one on it is O'Leary. Back into the near corner. Amorosa pokes it away from Wayland. 
Whoa. Go, 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 come on! Ah. Bruh. Oh no. Oh no. Phew! Richards, Robertson, left wide by Arusha, under six and a half to play. Atari. Well, we get a whistle with 6.16 to go in this hockey game. We have music time. Go, 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 go. Homer nearly lost his step, so Hill is able to get there first. On the ball. Lipo. Cade paddles it away. Got through traffic, is knocked out by Cade. He comes to Jake Elmer. Elmer up ahead for Hayhurst. <gasps> what? Pass for Pecoraro, unable to do so. Comes back to Jones. Reaper. Oh, man. It's out of his own blue line. Lipo brings it around glass. In by Rouen. His luck fist tied up. Able to separate. Got the play for Elmer. J.S. Day. Right back to Elmer. Inballed it off the board. Come on. Come on. Away the last second by Elmer. Day. Creeper. Top for Dello. Oh, Top man. Out of auditioning the Dello where the gun loaded. Out Brandon Vatic fresh onto the ice. His shot oh. from the wide blocker side. It'll hit the board to go all the way down the ice. Five even to go in this hockey game. Two nothing Hartford. Morosa. Nani. Hide by Lori Payuniemi. Nani. Yes, Dave. Loved on the clearing attempt. Blue Chuck trying to get a pass across. Amorosa recovered nicely. And Come Chip on, guys. Rock and get into the Hartford zone, but it's only for a moment as it's chipped back out by Potato. Will we be song? Gets it into his own zone. Be song. Four and a half to go in the hockey game. You see Boden. It's around Potato. Boden now finds Bisson. Side of the goal. Paid by Kincaid. And it's caught up Bruh. with Ferminelia. He'll skate away from trouble. With 4.24 to go in the hockey game. Hartford leads it by a pair. Down the stretch we go at the XL Center. Wolfpack, we're going to get back and home for the first time since December 19th. They're inching closer on this Saturday night. <sighs> They keep on getting so close and then they just no rebounds whatsoever. There's rest and pepperoni like god freaking damn. Like oof, big oof. So what's the point of doing this stuff right here? If they're not cleaning the ice. Oh yeah, never mind they are. <laughs> I just saw them come out. I was like, are they not gonna go clean up the ice or what? <sighs> now they are. Yeah, it's starting to be sore from sitting all over here.
Exactly. Easy, easy channel points. Looks like well, you don't have infinite amount of them. I just use it as a free soundboard, basically. Oh my god, uh... Kikincade. Why? Why you must be so good? Oh shit, the commentators. For Kodorenko, out of his reach, but I forgot to turn them on. The foot race, rather. Ice waved off. Kodorenko, backhand, scores. Oof, empty net score. He won the foot race and then tucked it home. Rest in pepperonis. Third of the season, ninth point for Patrick Kodorenko. With 3.33 to go into the empty net. <sighs> that might be lights out. Do I just have a jinx on the Habs that whenever I go to stream this, they fucking lose? That's what I'm starting to suspect. Well, the Rocket have pushed here in the third period. Shots are even at... They're even at 26 apiece. There has been a good push in the third period. But Hartford, Keith Kincaid, 26 saves, has held strong. Justin Richards will gain the zone. Give up Poulin back in the goal. Lori Payuniemi spun off the puck just inside of the offensive zone. Well, Hartford on the verge of winning this one. Jeff Taylor, Kincaid, and Brandon Baddock. Yeah, you finally won a prediction. Brandon Baddock, no stranger to the tough stuff here. See if anything results from that in the final stretch of this hockey game. So Hartford looking to snap a two-game skid and have points in three of their last four. This will keep them at worst in fourth place in the Atlantic Division. Could make up some ground depending on what goes on in Springfield and Hershey. We'll bring you the final scores of those games once our game here concludes. 2.43 to go. Let's get him out. Thomas happened to have you alongside for the ball. They will return home and play on Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. puck drop against the Utica. And then uh, it'll be a this Friday, song. Saturday, hold and hold. They'll host Belleville, 7 o'clock on this Friday night. We'll awesome. be in Belleville, 7 o'clock Saturday night. And then on the 28th and 29th of January, the Friday, Saturday, they'll finish their month in the Lone Star State. A couple of 8 p.m. starts in Texas. Come on, guys. Shots now 28 26 for Laval. They have really pressured here in the Lazy. third. Martel Get the goal. It around that went wide. Comes to Austin Rushoff to the empty net. He misses it. And this will be icing. So Laval going right back to the six on five as they look to at least break the goose egg. Yeah, it's not like can't be shut out. Off to the left of Kincaid. Tanner Fritz is just about to day. will take the draw. Day wins it for Kevin Wong. Shot by Bisson is blocked by Fritz and he gets it out to center. This is Belpedio with 215 to go. Reach of Rushoff. Kevin Wong will slap it in. Come on, guys. Settled on by Kincaid. Thought he might Settle try it. it, but instead he'll flip it up to the <laughs> Kincaid tried, the goalie himself tried getting a goal. I hadn't even crossed my mind until Keith settled it down that he may have had a shot at that. I think he thought about it for a second. He just he shut up. Clear it away. Day shot. Oh! oh. Saved by Kincaid. It hit Gabriel Bork and came right to Kincaid. And his pad was exactly in the place it needed to be. And he's able to hang on with 153 to go in regulation time. That is now 30 saves for Keith Kincaid.
I mean, uh, yeah, it could have that effect on the Elise as well. But I'd rather... Oof. Then watch, um, uh... Elise. Off the draw. Shot goes wide. Back up top for Belpedio. 140 to go. Hillis. Back up top, Belpedio. His shot... Oh! Baddock. Come on, last minute comeback. Three hundred singles. Y'all already did this before, so it's not a challenge. Oh shit! Skate, 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 skate. Steam. It does it. Belpedio has to. Drag it around the wall. Fuck. Jeff Taylor flips it to the empty net. No, too high. Into the final 53 Thanks, seconds. Of Bro, this pay attention. <laughs> gonna win this one. Their second straight win against Laval, both at home ice. Wolfpack will have points in three of four. They'll snap a two-game skid and remain in fourth. You never know. They might do three left. goals in 35 seconds. There's one thing left to determine. Bisson will send it down low. Rushoff. Into the corner. Martel intercepted. Potato. That was off the Oof. stick of Dave. Come on. Come on. Don't let it. Uh, no. Oh. Fourth chance. Scores. Fuck. Another empty net goal. This one for Austin Rushoff. He's got a pair. That is now four goals in three games for Rushoff. And Hartford takes a four to nothing lead. Austin Rushoff, first shot blocked, second shot blocked, third shot. Guess what? Blocked. Fourth one finally puts it home. That's got to feel good for Austin Rushoff. He's played a consistent game all season long. He's really been rewarded here for a while. Four goals in three games. The horn will sound for the first time this season. The Wolfpack got a shutout, and it's Keith Kincaid. 31 saves for the blank slate. His 11th victory of the season. The Pack back in the win column. Alrighty, thank y'all for watching this stream. It's been exactly good times. Let's see if anyone is alive. Nope. Alrighty, well I guess we're just ending it here. Bye bye, mes amis.